Sometimes it's faster and clearer to talk directly to someone instead of using a middle person. Using a mediator can slow things down and cause misunderstandings. So bare metal programming involves writing code directly for the hardware by passing the abstraction layers of operating systems. Developers have precise control over hardware resources allowing for optimized performance and minimal resource overhead. Bare metal programming is used or ideal for applications where determinism, minimal resource usage and maximum performance are crucial and are commonly employed in IoT, Internet of Things devices, automotive systems, for example, engine control units and industrial automation. So whenever you are using bare metal programming, you are directly in charge of the CPU, which is the brain of the device, the memory where data is going to be stored and the peripherals like lights, buttons or screens. It is called bare metal because there is no middle layer like Windows, Linux or Android between your code and the hardware. So why to use bare metal programming? First of all, the speed. Without an operating system, your program runs faster. For small devices, microcontrollers, tiny computers in your appliances often don't have the space or power for an operating system. And then the full control. You decide exactly how things work which is critical in areas like the embedded systems, robotics, etc. So let's make an LED blink on a tiny computer. It can be on an Arduino or Raspberry Pi Pico. The typical approach would be like this. Here you see digital right that is turning the LED on that is why the LED pin is high here then certain delay and then digital right LED pin low the LED pin low means you are turning the LED off after that again a delay now this code uses a library a helper function to interact with the hardware. What will be the bare metal approach? Now in bare metal, you control the hardware directly. So this is the code you are going to write for bare metal. Now here you see, first of all the registers. You write directly to memory locations like the GPIO DIR and GPIO out to control the hardware. We have also defined the LED pin which is pin number 5 and also the base address to the registers. What you see here is no helpers. There is no digital write and even the delay function we have written by ourselves. You create everything yourself and then you have a full control. Inside this mail, 
you decide how to toggle the led you set the pin mode and you implement the delay so now in this main you have set the pin 5 as output a loop which is going to go infinitely while one and then turning the led on and then turning the led off